Water is only found in liquid form if kept in a narrow temperature band of between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, and Earth is the only known place in the universe where this happens. The amount of water on Earth is always the same. It is never lost or gained. It merely shifts location and form. It is used, recycled and reused by nature in an endless flow through the living planet. Seawater has a 3.5% salt content, which means that there is enough salt to cover the Earth's landmass in a layer 150 meters thick. Some species, like this great white shark, have never felt the urge to leave the ocean and have specially adapted breathing mechanisms to extract air from the water. But to do this, they can never stop moving, like these flame goatfish. These bottlenose dolphins also find it easier to survive in water. But as they are actually mammals, they need air to survive and must constantly go to the surface to breathe. But apart from this necessary inconvenience, water not only provides all the components needed for life, but also makes day-to-day -day locomotion all the more fun. Millions of years ago, some of the dinosaurs found life on terra firma difficult and cumbersome, and over a period of time, they also decided that a change in habitat was called for. These southern right whales are also mammals and need to breathe air to survive. They blow the used up gas out of blowholes slightly behind their heads and once again take refuge below the surface. These guys can't seem to make up their minds. The Cape fur seals have not yet decided between living in water or staying on land. Why these cumbersome creatures bother themselves with land-based activities is a mystery, and any excuse to get back into the water is always snapped up. Three quarters of the planet is permanently wet, only 2% of its water is fresh and fit for human and animal consumption. It seems extraordinary that creatures that live in water, like these Oreochromus mosambicus, still need to breathe oxygen to live. When a fish breathes, it opens its mouth and forces water over its gills, and oxygen is absorbed into small capillary blood vessels. These mudskippers are also fish, but seem to prefer being out of water rather than in. While we hold our breath to stay underwater, these guys hold their water to stay on land. Literally, because they actually store water in their gills to enable them to breathe when out of water. Mudskippers have specially modified pectoral fins, which serve as crutches when they go exploring, so they do not act like fish out of water. This darter uses water as its preferred hunting terrain. So does this kingfisher. And a little more successfully. Water is vital for any living organism to survive, and the water that we drink today has been used countless times before, and in all likelihood, it has passed through millions of organisms, including the dinosaurs. Not only is it used as a drinking commodity, but water is also used by many different animals in many different ways in day-to-day -day life. Some, like this African rock python, feel as at home in water as out. And there's nothing like a refreshing swim on a hot day. And once again, the water is returned to the cycle, rising in the form of vapor back to the sky, where it will move to its next destination.